Tonight we've learned that three men who confessed to having a role in the murder of a missing hiker are now out of jail. Matthew Fagan has been missing now since June 16th. Brett Rains joins us live to tell us why the men accused with Fagan's murder are now free. Brett? Michael Snelling, Tyler Leverett, and Charles Shamblin were behind bars for a year here at the Sequoia County Detention Center, but all three have been released because the district attorney said there is not enough evidence to convict them in court. Matthew Fagan has not been seen since June 21st, 2016, when he went hiking with friends at Cato Creek near Lake Tenkiller. Did you murder Matthew Fagan? No comment. A few weeks later, those friends were arrested. Michael Snelling, Charles Shamblin, and Tyler Leverett were behind bars without bond, charged with first degree murder. Each one of them had confessed uh, that they had part uh, the disappearance of, of Fagan. After searching the woods and using divers and sonar to search like Tin Killer, Fagan's body was never found. The first assistant district attorney says even though the men confessed to playing a role in Fagan's death, the DA says there's not enough evidence to corroborate their stories. All charges have now been dropped against all three men. It, it is aggravating to know we put hours and hours and weeks uh, within the heat, just different things out there trying to do our job. Uh, having the confessions of this and still being able to to walk out of here. You know, I've, I've spoke with her father. Uh, it's been some time back, but he he deserves some kind of closure. All he knows right now is his son is is nowhere to be found. And out of those three men today, I was able to speak with Charles Shamblin, but today he did not want to talk on camera. And I'm also waiting to hear back from family members of Matthew Fagan for their reaction. And right now that we can tell you that there's a 24 year old woman who's been behind bars here since February. She's accused of being an accessory to murder. Right now, it's not clear if or when charges will be dropped against her. Live in Salisaw, Brett Rains, 4029 News. Okay, Brett, investigators tell us the case is not closed and they'll continue to investigate every lead. Fagan's father is offering a reward for any information that leads to finding his son. 